So I got this far in the chandelier and lost all my footage upgrading my computer and Gorilla Glue sucks on really smooth plastic. So back to the drawing board on this. Alright, so today we're gonna cut the bumper. Yeah, let me get straight in. This will all be edited out in the time lapse anyway. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Alright, don't let's shoot me, you bastard. <laughs> Good luck. What are you doing, pig? Huh? You know that safe? Huh? You know that safe? Come on. Off to the park. Let's see what the strong guys are up to. Come on with me. Let's go. Oh boy. Right here. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. There you go, boy. Hell of a hell. Hell of a hill. Oh boy. Got me breathing all heavy like a poor person. Let's go. Good workout, buddy. Today, here's the uh, Miata bumper. I'm still going to smoke the flashers and the indicators. The VHT, y'all. But yeah, the cut, I think, is going to let a lot more air hit the radiator. And then obviously I'm going to take a uh, eBay lip on the bottom there. And that will obviously connect the two sides. I mean, it's not bad. It's not going to move a lot. And then I'm going to make some kind of like PVC plastic, something thin like this, equally uh, the same thickness type. And um, make more of a mouth hole, I guess. And that will ram the air right onto the radiator and then i'm gonna i believe so far the plan is to um drifter stitch it in and then onto the lip it's gonna be 
going across the bottom here and then obviously this will be that much closer to the ground because of the lip and then I'm going to lower it but I'll, I'm digging the metal I still need to put some more I don't know how well that's showing up on camera but from my eyes right there I can see the grain um, it's got a real like brushed aluminum kind of vibe to it there's still some patina that didn't go away which I dig and I still need to get the grain more universal and horizontal um, if anybody wants to buy a top I'll sell this one cheap make me an offer in the comments that's without shipping local pickup Colorado Springs um, with shipping we'll have to talk obviously but yeah I did the rockers and the uh, flat black and I missed it all the edges and flat black satin whatever uh, double X coverage not this stuff not that this stuff and not espresso satin canyon black I think it is but this 2x coverage rust-oleum holy shit is it good you'll get way more um, way more square footage out of this can it may not be two it may be more it depends I really think it depends on how you lay it but that stuff's awesome and it's the same price as regular rust-oleum and obviously satin satin's gonna give you the flat black look you know the non-gloss look like this the satin gray and you see it's got that flat look but it's gonna stay like that it's never gonna turn all um, powdery chalkboardy like flat black and flat gray and primer does so so need to do the mirrors but yeah satin um, satin paint darker the better any of the light colors you're gonna see unless you do like a base coat of primer any of the light satins are they're still gonna show through imperfections so I recommend black gray stuff like that rims though if you want to do orange get satin I think we have some of that here not satin but um fluorescent this stuff you can do your rims like you saw in the Jeep out front um yeah so that's the update the uh the sticker dash i like got a new speedo cable i gotta put in pulled the airbags because they are defective in miatas seriously you hit a speed bump and you can deploy your airbags so i'd pull those out um future art project another video so yeah we'll uh we'll see how it goes from there Ready? What up, though? Hola. Yeah, says one. Oh, you just grab it for me and grab one. <laughs> All right, what do we got? Agent Orange. Oh, God. All kinds of shit. Uh, hey buddy. We're on the uh, Periscope Live. <laughs> That's cool, man. Yeah. Card's probably in the mail. Your card? Yeah. How long is it taking? What? Did it tell you? Yeah, they're saying like 30 days, most likely. Where's your cupcake? Huh? Cupcake? Where's the cupcake, Piggy? Huh? Where's the cupcake? Huh? Where's the cupcake? Huh? Where's the cupcake? Cupcake. So I met this guy at the Dab Lounge from the other episode, Grow for Vets. What is his name? Edward of the Magnolia Candle Company. I don't know. Um, so check Ed out at uh, magnoliacandleco.com. Magnoliacandleco.com. Okay. So what we have here is his vanilla bean. 
and premium soy wax. And it's, the wax is nice and soft, but it smells ridiculous good. Um, I'm a big vanilla fan myself. Let me pull up his website here so I know exactly what I'm talking about. Okay. Oh, man, that smells good. So here's his website, which is pretty fancy. I got it. But no, what I'm concerned about is uh, it's reasonably priced. I mean, they're comparable to a scented candle, 14 bucks. I mean, yeah, that's, that's realistic. That's what, you know, a handmade, awesome scented candle is going to run you. Um, but the main one up here is the uh, Remember Me candle. You know, like you have this certain scent that reminds you of someone you love or a family member, friend, something like that. God, that smells good. Um, and you tell them what it is, and they make the candle based off of that scent, which is pretty neat. He, you know, like if it's some cologne or perfume, like specifically a military. If your partner wears a specific perfume or cologne, you can get a candle made with that. And then that way, when they're overseas, you can, uh, you know, light the candle and remember your, God, remember your boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever. But I think that's pretty neat. So, you know how smell obviously causes you to um, remember things that you didn't even know you remembered. But I think that's a real neat idea. <sighs> remember me candle. Get you one. Um, seven to ten business days to create it, and then they ship it out. And then, uh, yeah. So check them out. Like I said, it's uh, Edward Ellison, MagnoliaCandleCo.com. And uh, look for him on Shark Tank, apparently, coming soon. And uh, he's Colorado Springs, local. So look him up and uh, get a candle. Pretty good stuff. I do that shit all the time. <laughs> Especially if I buy like two ounces at the limit. So they can't even give me the free joint because that's more than the two ounces. Right. So when I come back the next time, I'll be like,